Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Wednesday Evening Live, where uh, I've got a new smock. Easy Wood Tools smock. Seen that? Absolutely brilliant smock. Light as a feather. Lighter than a t-shirt. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm just bring the YouTube chat up, and then I'll bring these guys in. And here they are. Come on. There they are. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got the we've got the Klingspor crew in again. Klingspor. 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 Seeing how Rob Klingspor. 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 <laughs> the abrasives, the abrasives it, are brought to you tonight by Klingspor. It still feels a bit bare, but Klingspor. <laughs> <laughs> right. So obviously we've got Jamie, we've got Mark. We've got Shug and we've got Andrew, who are going to be keeping me up to what's going on in the chat. Uh, let's stick them back into the background and see what we're going to be doing tonight. So tonight I have got a piece of, no, it's either sycamore or horse chestnut, one of the two. I'm not sure which, but we're going to be doing a box. And it is about six inches long by three wide and... The smoke doesn't have back pockets. We're Not to worry though. Box. We're going to do a, a box. box. We've got a front pocket. Has it got, no, it doesn't have a front pocket. That, well, it's got a pencil pocket. It doesn't have an ordinary front pocket. But what we're going to do, we're going to do some beading on the box with this. <gasps> the easy Wood Tools beading cutter. And what, I, what the plan is, I'm going to use all four of them. Not at once, but I am going to use all four of them. So this is the three eighths. I'll be using the three eighths, the quarter, the three sixteenths, and the one eighth. And I'll be starting off doing big beads at the bottom, and then graduating down towards the top, doing the smaller beads. I'm wondering if this would be better if it, if it, as a vase rather than a box. What do you reckon? <coughs> Don't know. Big beads, mm. little beads, wood and box. Mm. Big beads, little vase. beads, wood and box. <laughs> vase. <laughs> vase. 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 Right, I'll get on and do some turning. I mean, it's almost like you've had a care package or something. <laughs> I've, I've had a care package. Have you had a care package? You You're joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, JP. Have you put that one? Have you put that one up as a meme, Jamie? No. Yeah, yeah. No, the um, the you joking one he sent us it the other day. Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, let me quickly <coughs> upload it. That's Yay! A <laughs> so, should we, uh, should we introduce people? Go on, then, Shug. Okay, let's go for it, then. Let me go into the participants list. First of all, <coughs> so, obviously, we've got AGK, Mr. Mm -hmm. Matt Heckler himself. He's in. Uh, then we've got Barry Kitty, Brian with a Y, uh, Justy Wood Creation, Kendrick Wood Dancers, we've got Mike from Dances with Aardvark, we've got Bill Sixty, uh, Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round, Barney, Barney's just turned up as well, hello Mike, hello hey, Barney, uh, we've got Fred Gilliver, James Crawford, G uh, Jennifer Lewis, the original Bonafide, Jennifer's Craft and Creations. I believe it's the original anyway. Uh, we've got Robert Kling's for Abrasive. Don't forget, this program is brought to you in association with Kling's for Abrasive. Uh, <laughs> we've got Stumpus Maximus herself, Lucy Bandirano. Potato. Uh, we've got Malcolm Douglas, Mark Hall. <laughs> we've got Mike Evans, Old Man River Wood Turner, Raymond Wise, Roy's the Boy, Terry Bartlett. Obviously, we've got your Jurgen Man, Wayne the Wood Turner. Your Jurgen Man. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> Uh, then we've got uh, Wee Val, Little Val from Littleville, and Wivey Woodshed. 
Now, let me just check that. We've also got Anthony Green just coming did, in. Did, well. you say that Rob, did you say Rob from Clingsport was there? Rob from Clingsport's here. Boom, boom, boom. Now let me hear you say, Weho! Weho! <laughs> Martin Boyd just popped in, too. Hello, Hello Martin. Martin. Hello, Martin. Right. So, I think I've got everybody up to now. If I haven't, feel free to uh, drop a message in and tell me about how I missed it. Kevin 9 caves in. Hey, Kev. Yeah, but Wayne, I don't think your um, chapper is working very well. Oh, oh hang on. Voice. Right, hang on. And Lucy's saying that, you lot have lost the up, plot. Mate. Laurie's in. Laurie's Sorry, in. Hello, Laurie. Hello, Laurie. Hello, Laurie. I, I apologise for uh, Huey Laurie. I never yeah. do it now. I'll make sure it's in the script that we don't miss you. Um, Walt Wilson's in as well. You missed Walt yeah. Wilson. I didn't miss him. It's a whole other country. He wasn't yeah. in the participants list. You don't read the participants list, you read the other one. Anyway. This is whole other country. <laughs> no. <laughs> we want the editing. Well, there's nothing in OBS that's uh, affecting it, so I don't know what's happening there. Might be an update. Could be. Well, I did just do an update, so maybe that's it. Have you got your StreamYard audio right up, Wayne? I have, yeah. That could be it. That's probably why they're hearing so much noise. Right. Audio. Usually have it around about 140. Right, I've just adjusted the mic volume. I'll put it on automatically adjust. Katie Cornish mates in. Hey, 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 hey. Snap. Oh, <laughs> 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 he's cruising. He's, he's cruising. <laughs> cruising for a bruising. Bath the Frenchman in. himself is in. Bonjour, oui, oh, oui Paris. Hello, Barry. Chris, Chris told me to do that. Chris told you to do it. Uh, Wabi Woodshed has a question for you, Wayne. Yeah. He's saying, question, question. Will Wayne be colouring this black and yellow, um, asking for a friend? I'd, I don't think he's your friend anymore, will he? <laughs> <laughs> if only you could see the picture. <laughs> <laughs> William Kenny's in. Hello, William. Hey, William. Hey, how are you doing? Bonnie's just randomly put purple hearts in there. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> purple hearts, purple hearts. <laughs> right, let's get some shape into this. Rob's saying it's a good job he's got thick skin. And Cornish made our uh, Katie saying, just you wait, Jamie. Just you wait. Yes. I will. <laughs> Rob said it's a good job he's got thick skin. Mm. <laughs> just throw being sandpaper rep. Yeah, yeah just nice. a little bit. Yeah. Right, Doug Miller is saying, question, I need to extend a webcam lead five to six feet. Anything special I need to look for? Well, I'm not sure, but when An I try to do it, Doug... An extension cable. You have yeah. to. You normally have to get a powered one if you go in any extension width over about two metres on top, I think. Right. Uh, it, it is basically a USB extension lead you need. Yeah. Some cameras will it. some cameras will need a powered one though. You want to run it off a USB three if you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
But I think a uh, normal USB port is like 500 milliamps or something like that. And yeah, if you try, if uh, uh, strong enough, you'd be better off running it directly from a USB port on your computer rather than a powered hub. Yep. Barry's asking, uh, what's Wayne turning on this fine French evening? Hoi ha. Hoi ha. Bonjour. It's going to be a vase face, vase. Mark Elzin. Hey, up, Mark. And so yeah, it's Cox. It's going to be a, a, a vase face type thing. With beads. Lots of Lots beads. Lots of beads. Lucy's asking about, wasn't that an illicit substance in the 60s? I've no idea, Lucy. I wasn't around then. Nope. I wasn't even thought about then. Bonnie's just received her new Easy Wood Chuck. Ooh, very there nice. There you go. That's what we're talking about. That's weird, Wayne, because that looks like sycamore, but it's not cutting like sycamore. No, it's not. Connie, Connie's in. Hey, Connie, 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 so good they named it. Roy's the boy says he's afraid he can't afford an easy wood truck. Don't be afraid, Roy. I can't afford one either. Nothing to be scared of, mate. It's fine. I can't afford it either, but I've still got two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That, that was a definite... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we know. We know. We were ignoring it, Mark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bonnie said she worked overtime. There you go, Bonnie. So she wasn't just working. Nine to five, what a way to make a living. You will absolutely love it, Bonnie. Yeah, you will. Jennifer's saying, Wayne, Mark said thank you for the info. Uh, when we saw you about the USB hubs, they've arrived today and he's going to go and sort them out now. No bother. Oh, very good. No bother. Good luck, babes. <laughs> good luck, babes. <laughs> Bonnie said, 9 to 5? No, I work 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> Yeah, but they didn't do a song about that, buddy, so it makes it difficult. <clears throat> right, just get my drill and drill that down now. 7.30 till 5, what a way to get an easy chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Cox said he's starting a new project that he's never done. Turning a segmented banjo body. Take it steady. You want to slow down, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> you sure do have a pretty face. Get the speed adjusted. So I'm going to be drilling this at around about 500 revs. Kev's asking, are Eastwood chucks made of carbide and anything automatically has beads? <laughs> now that would be nice. I haven't got dozens of Axminster chucks. I've got five. 
Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Levron of uh, JPL Woodworks is in and says, nice smock, Wayne. Looks good. Cheers, man. I've only got so many axe mister chucks because I'm lazy. Can't be bothered to change the jaws. Raymond Wise said, I thought my wood turning was great until I had cataract surgery. (laughs) (laughs) I can can identify with you there as well. And I haven't had cataract surgery. (laughs) I've just found mine's terrible. before Before I started wearing glasses, I used to drive by touch. If I didn't touch anything, I was doing fine. (laughs) <laughs> yep, Kev said Terry, mind the banjo bits don't start dueling Douglas Mungham's in Hey, up, Douglas. How you doing? And so is Chris from Ten Creek Wood Turners Cornwall How you doing? Are you okay? Uh, you can have a go at him now Yeah, yeah you can tell him off now, Katie off. Douglas said he's, uh, he's not with the programme because he's drugged up his foot and ankle are really doing a job on him today. <clears throat> Hope that oh, uh, eases off soon, mate. You can always blame Andrew. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's Huey's fault. Yep. Well, Andrew will only blame me, so that's why I said blame Andrew. He, he knows. He ain't that. It's all Andrew. your fault. He'll just pass it straight along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Katie's telling Chris he's late. Yeah, you're late, Chris. Wayne's already nearly finished this project. He's about to start the second one. There we go. That's that done. Did Pet Shop Boys sing a song about Huey? <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Yeah, what, what have, have I done, done to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> you turned up. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Good point, you know. They sung a song about Mark as well. West End Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Martin knows I could see him. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful because I know you've got the button to press. I will never do that to you, Mark. No. <laughs> Not again. And now I'm going to use my Easy Wood Tools number one hollower. Number one. There you go. That's what we're talking about. That's uh, way to and do I, it. I also got Thank some you. Allen keys, Jamie. Oh, have you? <laughs> I know someone fancy, who wants some of them. You fancy Jamie's swapping mate. for a, uh, a broken extractor hood and a broken TV bracket. <laughs> 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 Wait, can I ask a can I ask a serious question? Yep. And I'm asking because I don't know, so I'm not yep. prompt. Why aren't you doing the beads on the outside first? Before I'll be honest, that's, prob- that's probably a good idea, mate, because you don't know how mm. deep that, them uh, beads are going to go. Just, just, just thinking, <laughs> maybe. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do the beads first. <laughs> the student becomes the master. <laughs> right. Uh, now, let's see if I can change well camera here. Right. That's not a very good picture, but all I'm going to do is just explain what's happening. Now, what you want to do, the same as any easy wood tools, is that you have the tool or the tool rest set so the tool itself is right on the center line that's a little bit high right on the center line when the tool is straight and horizontal to the ground if you're working on a hill don't blame me (laughs) and can i point out that for wayne it's level it doesn't look level for us no, that's just the computer and the cameras. Now, the difference between I want to go the overhead zoom. zoom the zoom difference zoom. between these cutters and the high-speed steel ones. Number one is you go straight in. 
you don't have to waggle from side to side and because of the way the cutters have been done uh, so there's been the whole drilled down through on a chamfer there there's also a chamfer on the top so the actual cutting part can you see that better the actual cutting mm -hmm. part of this is a negative rake so it produces nice. a really smooth cut i'm going to turn the speed back up and the other thing you want to do as well when you're doing this is that like you can see this slopes towards the tailstock end you need to go in at 90 degrees it's no good going in at that sort of angle because you'll not get the the bead properly so as much as possible try and go in at 90 degrees now i'm using the three eighths one first So, uh, Roy's saying he had a go at turning a snowman. <clears throat> it was a challenge from Paul Finley using a 10 millimeter beading tool. He did it, but it was smaller than it was meant to be. Well, <clears throat> we know all about that, Andrew, don't we? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely do. Uh, we're smaller than we were meant to be. I'm yeah. pretty, sure our, pretty sure our parents ordered six feet kids, but it didn't happen. So, I'm going to do two of the three eighths ones. Alejandro's asked a serious question. Why don't you hollow it out first? The reason we've done that, got Wayne to do it like this first, is it leaves a bit of thickness in the walls. Mm -hmm. Then he can see how much material to take away from the inside after he's done the beads. What's right. that, Vato? Kev's asking, does the negative rake make them unsharpenable then? Well, the carbide, so you can't really sharpen them anyway. I wouldn't sharpen them anyway. Unless you have some right. green wheels. Well, you could but use... You're never, a, you could you're use never a diamond... You? No, you're never going to get them back to the factory setting, right. but you could use yeah. a diamond card over the top bevel. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I'm going to go on to the... Which one's that? That's a quarter. I'm going to go on to the quarter. Oh, he said That's he was right, joking. Yeah, but, sorry. He, he says sarcasm doesn't show in text, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay this week. If there's any accidents, Dr. Bob's in. Whew. There we yeah. go. Go for that. Good to have you on, Bob. Finish his donuts and coffee first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Brian with a Y said, a handy tool for making wooden Michelin men, uh, men with. <laughs> I made uh, Sneak's puffer jacket using the beading cutters. You did, yeah, that's right. Yeah. On his little gonk, that was cool. Joe Garofalo's in. Hello, yeah, I dropped a live centre in the shavings today. Took 42 minutes to find it. Oh. <laughs> oh. You God. want a strong magnet, mate. That's what you want. God, the stainless steel. <laughs> um, Cornish Maid's just interjected with, I'm making tea. Um, and I'm really on the rum, to be fair, but I'll have a coffee if you're making one then, Katie. All right. I'll have a cup of tea, though. <laughs> a cup of tea, a cup of cha. Does the negative rake create a positive reaction? That's very <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> Every action creates a positive and negative reaction. Well, there I've got go. to say, if you want a positive reaction, these are brilliant. <laughs> they look good. They're even, even, they're That's even pretty better positive. on resins. That was mm. pretty positive, let's be fair. Right, one, two, three. I'll put four of these. I think he's having too much fun now, isn't he? Yeah. It's that point where you can get two carried away. That's it. Okay, he says, yes, I... JP, remember that. That's what I say <laughs> to all my students when I teach them how to roll beads. I say, once you know how to do it, it's learning then how to stop. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's addictive. Everything comes out of the workshop with beads on it. Okay, so I'll swap this over now and put the three sixteenths on. Mark, roll beads. Is that you know? Is that you know a, a slang term for one of those illicit cigarettes or something? You know? No, it's 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 called using a skew. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. <laughs> Terry Bartlett says, how much does that tool cost? Seems a great bit of kit. So right. the beading cutters will fit on any of the easy starter roughers, a mini easy rougher and a mid-size rougher as well. Um, there's four different kinds of cutters. Um, Terry's in the UK, is he not? Yes, he uh, is. He's in Plymouth. Yeah. Plymouth. Yeah, so uh, they sell the beading cutters in Axminster. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much they are, to be honest with you. Just watch Neither. your microphone, Wayne. <clears throat> okay. Cheers, mate. Ooh. Wayne's a heavy breather. That's how much he's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I, I misread that. Just now I looked at it and I thought, heavy beaver? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you call it a beaver. <laughs> Right, so this one is the three sixteenths. Yeah, there you go. Twenty nine ninety eight each. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'll put. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. I'll put six of these on. Kev said uh, he sees two Axminster stores are closing shortly. Online sales casualties, question mark. I have no idea, Kev, but it's such a shame that they're closing the neat and it's a big store as well. Yeah, business yeah. talk's already they're gone. They're closing a few of them. I think yeah. you'll find it's the, um, the leases on the premises have come up for renewal. Come up for renewal and they're too expensive. Too expensive because landlords are just getting. I know I have some sympathy with landlords, not much, but some. They're getting crippled by the by the interest rates on mortgages. Mm. Mm. And I will finally use the very small eighth that, cutter. That's what did for Woolworths in the end as well, weren't it? Though when they when they got sold, the company assets stripped yeah. them, didn't they? And yeah. basically took all the Woolworths always owned it, its own property and then all of a sudden they didn't <clears throat> Lucy's saying rents and rates are extortionate yeah tell me about it mm -hmm. I've just had notification this week my rent's going up again 30 quid a month you should rent out some of your space for Axminster yeah <laughs> I've got yeah. enough room for my own stuff, Jamie. I'll turn the speed up a bit, and I'll finish all the rest of this with. Oh, I think I got a bit of tear out on that one. Go faster, mate. This is definitely chestnut, by the way. If it was sycamore, I wouldn't get any hint of any tear out. But horse chestnut is a little bit on the soft side. Always asking what speed you're going, mate. At the moment, 1400. And what I'll do with that little bit at the top is just take that off with a spindle gouge. Right, I'll get all these, put all these back into the yeah, don't pot I've them. got for them. That looks really good. Douglas Mungham says, uh, my oldest son is paying two grand a month for rent. Bloody hell. Wow. Rocky. And he's your son. I wouldn't charge him that much. 
Be ashamed of yourself. Are you pro are you providing breakfast for him? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking how much a cup of tea is at your house. <laughs> Kev said horse chestnut spits on your fire too. I tend not to do that. I find it a bit dirty, to be fair. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> nay, nay, Mr. Wilkes. <laughs> Christine and Michael Hesseltine have just joined. Hey, Hello. Christine, Michael. Hello, see you, ma'am. So I did take the opportunity of, um, seeing as how I got the Allen keys, I did take the opportunity of turning the cutter around a little bit. I bought this at Harrogate last November. So this is the first time the cutter has been turned. <laughs> Christine and Michael said, did somebody say rum? I didn't say it, but I am drinking it. So, yeah, it does sound good. <laughs> I've got to say, those cutters will be absolutely brilliant for doing captive rings. Mm. Mm. Which has gone on my um, vacuum. Dr. Terry is asking what kind of wood it is. We think it's horse chestnut. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's horse chestnut, Ch Terry. Dr. Bob saying watching you make the beads brings back long ago memories of my granddaughter losing her patience teaching me beading. <laughs> I, think he's meant to, I think he meant to put grandfather losing his patience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You never know nowadays, mate, because in, in all true. honesty, kids know everything, trust me. <laughs> uh, Alejandro, no, you wouldn't use a skew on the inside of that, mate. Right. I'm going to get the big boy out now. The number one pro hollower. Again, <laughs> I've been able to turn the cut around on this as well. A word of caution. <laughs> a word of caution, Wayne. Uh, yeah. Kevin 9K says, Wayne... If you hollow that tooth in, you'll have a load of captive rings. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. They'll all go Alejandro bouncing says, around the workshop. This Alejandro says, this is how Wayne makes his bracelets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? That's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> Austin Peterson's in. He's got a question for you, Wayne. Yep. <clears throat> he says, uh, Wayne, I really enjoyed the three-sided three vase video on Sunday. Is yep. there a chance you could do something similar live and explain the process? When I try something like that, I always mess it up. Uh, I certainly can. Now, I'm trying to remember when I actually did that. Three um, months before you done the video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, JP. No, nope. <laughs> I can't remember if it was actually this year or the back end of last year. I think it was last year, wasn't it? 
Right, we're wait till the end of this and I'll have a, a quick look and uh, see if I can find when I did it. Because I did, that That has been edited from a live, that one. Chris Nunn's in and he says, hi everyone, sad to hear about an Eaton store closing. I only live five minutes away in Burbage. I, I know exactly how you feel, I only live five minutes away, Chris. It's good. <laughs> <clears throat> There we go. That's that hollowed out. I'll just do a bit of sanding now. I have got a little bit of tear out on this, um, but that's because of the the type of wood it is. If I was using a really hard wood, or like Jamie said, resin, there wouldn't be any tear out. Is that the uh, Klingspore J-Flex abrasive? It is. This is the Klingspore J-Flex abrasive. Let's oh, that's jolly on. good. <clears throat> And this is the 120. Available from your friendly... Uh... Mike, they are having a closing down sale. There is quite quite a lot of stuff on special at the moment, mate. If you go on uh, online and select an eating store, you will find it. Rob said, this is the exciting bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Better turn that music off. Rob will get a bit too excited. <laughs> again? Will he get excited again? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try that uh, J-Flex abrasive? Just hit me up. I can supply it. And where can you get it from, Mark? Uh, from my website. Which is... Which is... Uh, mark.beckett.woodturners.uk What is it again? I'll put it in. <laughs> that's, that's the way to do it. Otherwise, you've got to get it really quick and on, off the knuckle like JP does. JP said, northsidecustomcrams.com Yeah, you've got, you've got to give the emphasis on the dot .com Dot .com <laughs> Alejandro said, nice, I might be able to make it to the sale then. you got to come over here first, buddy. I'm going to say, I'm sensing some uh, sarcasm <laughs> there. Yeah. That translated to sarcasm, Alejandro. <laughs> Mark, I is think there no the... jingle for the website? No. I think the, la the, no. last, the last time Alex was across here was for you, Kiss, in... No, I think it was two... A, make, it, make it central, wouldn't it? No, he was at UKIS. I'm sure he was. Or was it Makers? No, it was, he was at Makers. Oh, it was Makers, that's right. Um, 2019, I think that one was. Ben Jammin's in. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben. <clears throat> How are you doing? Lionel's in as well. Good yeah, evening, Lionel. Oh, there you go, he was at Makers Central 2018. 2018. Bonsoir, Lionel. Roy said the website's looking good, Mark. Thank you very much, Roy. I can take absolutely no credit for it whatsoever. Pete from <laughs> Twisted Trees did it. <laughs> I just uploaded the pictures while he watched. Hodgepodge is in as well. Hey, Robert. Hello, Hodgepodge. How are you doing? Uh, Alex says, I uh, need to make another visit to see all you guys. The dates for Maker Central has been announced again. Already. Right, do you think... Do you think I should burn in between the beads? Can't hurt. Uh... Mm, yeah, yeah, why not? Is Especially if you uh... put sand and sealer on it now, it'll go up like a bomb. Is Le Bernie <laughs> still here? Le Bernie Bernie Bali. <laughs> Mon petit Bali. Would you like a wire bunny? Uh, Lucy is asking a uh, question Is Pete still away? Uh, yes, he is, but he is on the way back. I can assure you, Lucy, that Pete is away with the fairies. Because every day <laughs> he comes in, he says good morning. When it's blatantly evening. <laughs> Pete operates in a completely different time frame. Yes. Yes, even uh, when he's been awake for all... 10 hours, he'll say good uh, morning. He's been away down in Spain and Portugal on his bike with his wife. Having a three-week getaway. 
Nice. He is on the way back. What do you Jim? Said. Hey, <laughs> Steven. Steven. Kev said, fire. Dun, 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 dun. The crazy world of Arthur Brown. Kev said, miss a few. Bit late now, Kev. <laughs> yeah. That's it, Mark. You go for that one. Because <laughs> I have no idea what guitar rosettes are. No, I don't either. I'm just trying to think what a guitar rosette could be. It's not the tuning. Uh, Martin it's, Ford it... Martin Ford has a question for you, Wayne. He said, yeah. how, how would you compare the easy wood hollowers to the hope hollowing system? Better. Uh, now, I've always been a fan of uh, Simon Hope tools, and I have got um, how many assignments have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I've got five, probably a couple more. I've got five, no, six, yeah, six of the Simon Hope hollowers. I've also got the Simon Hope hollowing system using both the laser and the camera, and they're absolutely brilliant, but. I think the Easy Wood Tools um, carbides are a hell of a lot better. And I think a lot of it is to do with the actual makeup of the carbides themselves. Yeah, oh, they're saying oh. the, uh, the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The, um, the rosette is the decorative part around an acoustic guitar, right around ah, the hole. Right, okay. Okay, I'm with Sound you. Sound hole. Normally, bit, a bit that's normally inlaid in a lot of uh, high-end guitars, I guess, in there. Yeah. Who was asking um, about that? Uh, Alejandro. Yeah, because he's, he's been making guitars recently. Yeah. Kev, I realise that now, but we're, you're in delay to us. So you probably we're probably a good 15, 20 seconds ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Yorkshire Grit. Again, brought to you by Easy Wood Tools. Uh, Douglas, nice. I believe it's Nuneaton. There is another store, but I don't know which one that is. Nuneaton uh, store. Biz, is well, Beers and Store closed last week, I believe. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> so when does the Nuneaton one close? Uh, something like the 6th of July, mate. Something like that. You better get down there quick, then. <laughs> and clear them out of easy wood cutters. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. They never had them in. I went in and asked because I wanted a negative rake for the number one. All oh, right. And they, had, they hadn't got any. And they were going, oh, well, we can get them for you. We can order them in. And I was like, ah, I don't want to order them in. I want to, like, just take them from here now. And <laughs> be uh, ben has a question for you, Wayne. He said, yeah. Wayne, Wayne, do you think the Easy Wood flat carbide are better than the Hope Cupped, or do you mean both cupped? Oh no, um, Easy Wood tools don't do a cupped one; they're all flat, uh, and I still think they're better. Um, uh, Ru Ruby's in. Hey, hey Ruby. Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Now, Hello, Andy. Ruby. Andy, the Valley Wood Turn is in as well. <clears throat> Hello, Andy. Hi, Andy. Um, he, he is asking. Uh, Andy's asking. Has anyone ordered the new colours from Hampshire Sheen yet? No, not no, yet. I'm going to, though. Uh, I don't think they're actually released yet, are they? They've been released uh, next month, are they not? Um, yeah, you can pre-order them now. Yeah. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. Certainly, right, if you're, if you're a member of the uh, Woodturner 360... Um, oh, I think anybody can pre-order them because Martin put it out on the Hampshire Sheen Facebook page today. That's where I I'm saw sure, it, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you can pre-order them now. I lost my YouTube chat. Oh dear. Refresh. There we go. 
Boom, boom, boom. Let me say whale. 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 Right. <laughs> I'll finish this off just with some microcrystalline wax. Ruby's asking, as she missed it, how did you like the beading cutters? Just about They're absolutely, they are <laughs> absolutely brilliant, Ruby. They really are. And I've used all four of them. I've used the 3 8, the quarter, the 3 16 and the 1 8. So I've, I've used all of them just to see how they go. The, the only thing that I've done wrong is pick the wrong piece of wood. Um, Hodgepodge is asking, you might know, if anyone can lower the tone and it's not me, it's going to be Hodgepodge. He says, is this piece titled Ribbed for Your Pleasure? Gee, <laughs> me. <laughs> Roy the boy Robert. says, uh, question, question, will you get all of the grit out? Yeah, he's used a, uh, a brush that he adapted. It was, it was, it was a little stiff, brush. Stiff bristled. <laughs> yeah, stiff bristled brush. Stiff, this Stiff bristled short haired brush. This is a brush that came with. Mark, what did this brush come with? <laughs> a dustpan. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, 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 the Henry Taylor small texturing tool. Oh, the, uh, uh, te the texturing elf. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The elf. Decorating this is the elf. brush. The decorating elf. That's it. This brush came with that for cleaning up after is you'd that, finished used it. Is that what you call Andrew when he's got a paintbrush? Oh, behave. <laughs> decorating so elf. Jokes. So little time. Savage. <laughs> oh, dear. Harvey Klein's he in. Shook. He said, hi, Wayne and everyone. I hope your day is going well. It hey, is so far. Andrew, have you got a video tonight? Oh, yes. You don't forget, then. Well, I know, I always forget. Well reminded, I Mark. I always remember. Cheers, Mark. Rob from <laughs> Copper Owls in as well. Hello, mate. I've got, a lathe. Lathe. I've got a lathe called Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> he has. Uh, Dan from Taylor's Murfield's in, I believe, and he says, Kev, I was told it was cheaper for Axminster to sell off their stock then send a team in to clear it and take it all back. Quite possibly. You'd think they'd ship it to another Axminster store, wouldn't you? Mm. Yes, Douglas it is only doing in store as far as I'm aware. I don't think they're uh, I don't think they're mailing anything out at a discount. This is where I see if I've got the drilling length right. That's been a night, night of easy wood tools, hasn't it? Apart from the um, spindle gouge. Short, short bit with the spindle gouge. Oh, it reminds mm -hmm. me of uh, <laughs> reminds me of the Saturday afternoon with Big Daddy. Easy, easy. <laughs> right, what am I doing? <laughs> camera, nice bit camera, easy, nice bit of easy <laughs> turning. There we go, and there it is. Nice. That's nice. That is nice. I'm not going to show you the bits where it's broken out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's the way well, to do probably, it. Probably, probably a couple, a couple of things to do with the breakout is number one, I probably didn't have the lathe going fast enough. Go to team cause the final. And number two, that one, where, that one where you broke it out, you went in a bit hard and fast. Yeah, and number number two, it is open grained wood, and uh, mm -hmm. there was just a, a couple of bits the way it's broken out, which I'm not overly concerned with. This was. Uh, a bit of a play, a bit of a practice piece because I'd never used them before tonight. I've seen them used, but I'd never used them myself before tonight, so that's it. Nice. I'll stick some photographs up. It's still fairly light here, so I'll stick some photographs up on the socials when I get finished. Uh, uh, Douglas said the he's looking for in. an M3 Evolution Live Centre. If I was able to get over there, Douglas, I'd go and take a look for you, but 
I'm working every day for the next week and a half, nearly two weeks. So I ain't even going to get in myself before it shuts by the look of it. Uh-huh. <gasps> Andrew, I've got something for you. <laughs> Bodge Bodge says now you can do basket weave. Yes, I could. <laughs> it's not going to. Yeah, I promise you it's not going to. You could do segmenting as well, but it's not going to either. I've done segmenting. I've done segmenting Blue, turned in the past. Gluing two pieces of wood together is not segmenting. No, 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 hang on. I did segmenting turning live one night. I started off I started off very easy and used one segment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Kind of okay. and, the, and, the neg- and, and their negative breaks, they can do resin as well. Oh yes, mm-hmm. yes, they, they do work absolutely brilliant on. Carsten right, said he's found and, that live. Carsten said and, he's found that live, Wayne. All right, okay, good. And they also work on um, side grain as well. So if you want to do beading on bowls, they do work on bowls as well because I think both Andrew and Jamie have done that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Andrew's running up more like a dog bowl though. I <gasps> don't <unusual>. care. <sighs> oh, <laughs> no need, Andrew. He was oh. a little dog bowl, admittedly. But was... Hang on, that's, yes. is that not what his Sorry. premier's well, title well, tonight? That's what his title tonight. Yeah, well, it is. It's what, a bit the little of a dig at you two. It's yeah. a bit of a dig at you two. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never said anything like that, Andrew. Just saying. I've never, I've never known a dog to want to drink shadow foam, though. <laughs> I would, I would definitely have gone up for you, Douglas. Definitely, but like I say, I ain't even going to get up for myself, and I'd love to go up and see what they're clearing out. <laughs> I would, I'd quite happily empty some of them shelves for them. <clears throat> uh, Douglas, yeah, Dan's talking to you. He replied to you, mate. Lucy's asking, uh, Dan, how could I get hold of one of your stickers? Turn up a Harrogate, maybe? <laughs> have, to buy, have to buy something. It's Turn up a Harrogate. <laughs> you stop begging, Lucy. <laughs> Send him a stamp to dress Dumbo. Yeah. That's what the TV shows you to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Send us a stamp to dress Dumbo. Self self-addressed, addressed envelope. <clears throat> to I'm a potato. <laughs> Ch- Ch- was, Douglas up, after a, was Douglas after an, an M3 uh, yes. live sender? Evolution. Yeah. yeah. Does it have to be an evolution? Uh, well, that's, I don't know. That's what that's he asked what he for. for. I don't know if it needs to be. I think I've only got the one. <laughs> Lucy said, Sugar, don't have one of your stickers. Ah, ha, ha. You know where I am. You've only got to uh, send me a link and we'll get one over. It's not an issue. You got one of my stickers, Lucy. Yeah. How, how did you get one of mine? When did you <laughs> steal that? <laughs> Kev said M3. That's a big one. That's yeah, I have got stuff. I have got an M3, but I've only got I've only got the one and it's in the it's in the VB. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's for the graduate. Yeah, I should have guessed. Oh, oh, yeah. going to say it's in the shavings. <laughs> really in the shavings? I found it in the end. <clears throat> it's knee deep. Right. Or to me and Andrew, chest height. Yeah, chest height. <laughs> Need waders. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. Lucy, 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 That's Lucy needs to get stickers of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I've got a potato jar over the back here. She can have. Potatoes? <laughs> I was forced to have it. Right, anything else? If not, I'm going to end this and go in and have a drink. <laughs> yeah. Lucy, check out Wartooth Designs on Instagram. Will it there be you a... go. Will it... <laughs> Potatoes! Potatoes! Will it be a, Will it be a flavoured coffee you're going for tonight, Wayne? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, wine flavoured. <laughs> wine flavoured, yeah. Uh, Bordeaux flavoured. <laughs> Bordeaux flavoured. No, it's nice and warm tonight. I think I'll have a glass of cider. So mm, I just finished. Good call. Mm. 
Nice one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> right then. If there's nothing else, I think we'll end that there. Okay. Uh, thanks to my mm -hmm. earworms again for keeping me up to do what's going on in the chat. And thanks everybody for coming in. It is very much appreciated. Um, if you're Thank in you the UK you. and you, you're late going to bed, um, there is the um, Creative Makers <coughs> podcast tonight. Makers Creative podcast. Creative Makers. Creative, creative Makers, makers make podcast, <laughs> which is at uh, 1.30 in the morning. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you in the US, it is 7.30 Central or 8.30 Eastern. Wayne, before you go, we've got to make Jamie take his hat off. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> hey! It's shocking. It's got to be done. Be done. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just take... Is that what happens when you put the cling spore out on? I better check. Yeah. Crazy yeah. yeah. pulls it off. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It's off from cling spore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it, it all fell, it all fell down? Yes, yeah, slid down. It's what happens. It's what happens when you grow up. So Andrew's still got a full head of hair. <laughs> Absolutely. You over to overtake your hairline. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right then, and on that note, okay. I'm going to press the button. <laughs> And the button is being pressed.